Hello, hello, Tatum here. Welcome back. Today, I have a lower body workout for you, so let's get to it. All right, let's get started today. I'm really excited to share this workout with you. Uh, just real quick, we're gonna need 45 pound dumbbell, well, sorry, something heavy, because we are gonna do the sumo squat, which your legs can handle if you have it. You can also use two dumbbells to load that weight as well. I have 20s, 25s, another couple pieces of equipment today, um, a gliding disc or a paper plate if you have it, and then also a small ball. And uh, I have a stepper today, which is not as necessary. And we can do some of these things without the equipment, but uh, go to your local store. It doesn't cost much to buy paper plate or a furniture slider or one of those small, that's just a fun kickball. That's not even one of those Pilates balls. <laughs> it's just a kickball from the, from the store. Uh, real quick, we are posting these daily. I'd like to ask you um, if you are looking for seven days of workouts, we also have a uh, monthly calendar up that you can comment and ask for. We are posting. If you're looking for a variety of exercises and workouts, please subscribe. All right, we're gonna get to it. Uh, the best is yet to be right here. So let's go ahead and warm up. <laughs> we're gonna do some um, leg swings across the body. All right, I always try to balance on this one, uh, but you're free to hold on to uh, a partner, <laughs> a wall, a couch, something that you have close by if balance is off, okay? But we are trying to work on that a bit here, embracing the core, swinging across, giving a little turn here. Five more seconds with this leg and we'll switch. Three, two, and one. Good work. Other side, here we go. So today's workout is a lower body leg workout. We are focusing on our quads, okay, our thighs, and we're also get our inner thighs, all right? Our adductors. So. You'll see some different things with that. I wanted to show you more with some bands today, but unfortunately, I need to set up the studio with a little hook, but I'll get it, and you'll be seeing more things with that to come. <laughs> Three, two, and one. All right, let's go forward and back with those leg swings now, okay? Just getting some blood, opening up our hips, getting some blood into these legs, getting our body moving waking up if it's early morning for you or maybe just waking the body up from sitting in a chair all day right at the desk good again some balance here but you can always hold on to a wall or something there three two and one good other side feels good to move here i have uh, this warm-up we'll have two small circuits with a core exercise as well, with an ab exercise. And then we're gonna go into a finisher. We'll get you hopping and jumping and sweating, all right? So stick around for that. We're gonna bring up the intensity as we go. Like to build. Three, two, and one. All right, let's just squat it out now for 30 seconds. Warming up. Letting that body know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I say, just try to, like, come on, body. We're gonna be doing these later, get ready. Good, 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, let's go ahead and grab this ball real quick. All right, we're just gonna do some squeezes, standing squeezes. Squeeze in, release, squeeze. If you don't have one of these small balls, you could grab a smaller stability ball, which I have a couple different sizes here at the house, and you can also use that to squeeze, all right? Good, five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Let's lay down on our side here. We're gonna bring the top leg over and I want you to lift that underneath leg here, the, the leg that's on the floor up and down, okay? Getting those adductor engaged here, okay? Your inner thigh, lift up. It's hard, it's hard. Good, I'm squeezing at the top, lowering with control, not just flopping down, okay? Lift and lower, 
Three, two, and one. Let's do the other side real quick. Same thing. You could do this up in a side plank as well, but just getting warmed up here. Just want to get them engaged and on and ready to fire up here today. Good. It's a small movement, but it does so much. Three, two, and one. All right, here we go. We're gonna jump out just a little bit. All right, just warming up here and stick it, okay? So pause. Just kind of come up and over like you have a hurdle or a cone that you're trying to get over and then stop, all right? And stick. Good. Up and over. Just use your imagination. <laughs> Unless you wanna use some water bottles or cones. Three, two, and one. All right, that's our warm up for now. We gotta get going today. We're gonna start with a squat with two dumbbells in your hands. You can also go goblet if you'd like. Uh, with your ball between your knees, squatting out. We're gonna squeeze in with our adductors. We're gonna get the outer quads here, that closer stance, and work there. Then we're gonna go into sumo wide. Still working inner thighs, just a nice heavier weight wide. We'll come down with a reverse crunch also using the ball, okay? If you don't have a ball today, don't worry about it. Get a good leg workout here still. Without the ball, just take a closer stance. Then we'll go with a wide stance and you'll still have your uh, reverse crunch. All right, so we need to get to it. I'm gonna grab my ball, bring it out here. My weights, all right. We're gonna bring this between the knees in three, two, and one. Squeeze that ball. There you go, squat it out. 45 second interval here. We'll have 15 seconds to just transition into that sumo squat, in which I'll be changing my weight out at that time. You may need to, if you have lighter weights today, use a couple dumbbells on that one, all right? In order to really get the most out of that exercise. Good, 15 seconds here. 10, three, two, and one. Good work. I'm just gonna leave this kind of here for now. Grab my large dumbbell here. Again, you could take two of these down the center. Make sure that we're coming straight up and down. A lot of times we do our sumo deadlift, we push back. We wanna drop that bottom to the floor. Here we go, up and down. Straight up and down, chest is up and out. Good work. Toes, make sure those toes and knees are aligned, right? So a lot of times I get the toes in and we're wide. All right, and then we try to squat and look where my knees are. They're going in. All right, want to flare those toes out fairly wide. The wider you go with your feet, the more those toes have to flare out for those knees to go straight in the angle of those toes. All right, that's a rest, okay? We have our reverse crunch here. We're gonna grab that little ball again. If you have it, if not, just do a reverse crunch with me, okay? Bring this ball between your knees. Three, two, and one. You're gonna squeeze this as you come up into that reverse crunch, right? I'm actually gonna use here and crunch up or two as well. You could just do your lower abs there with the arms down or pull those shoulders off and hips off at the same time. If that's too much today, just focus on squeezing the entire time. A lot of time we can, I can hold this ball without squeezing it. That's not really doing as much as I want. So you really wanna push in as you pull up with those hips, okay? Really squeeze. Make sure that ball's not gonna go anywhere. Good. That's it, three, two, and one. Rest. Good job. We have two more rounds of this, okay? We kinda got the idea. Bring that ball out, your two dumbbells. Ball between the knees, three, two, 
and one. Here we go. Still squeezing, all right? We're just gonna kind of power through these three sets. If you need more rest, pause. It's the beauty of a pre-recorded workout. <laughs> just pause, a little follow along, you can stop. In class, you would have to miss out, but not here in your home. Hit pause, get back to it. Good, 15 seconds here. 10. Squeezing again. I can kind of hold this here and relax my inner thighs. But I really want to give it pressure the whole time. All right, that's a rest. Nice work. We have our sumo squat here. Grab that dumbbell. Feet are wide, remember. Knees go out in the direction of your toes, okay? Here we go, up and down. Now, my dumbbell's a little big, so I'm getting the depth that I can get when my dumbbell hits. If you want to go deeper, you can always grab by the two heads here and maybe sink a little lower if you're there, okay? Just a little, just that little half inch to inch really makes a difference. Good. You got it. Remember, chest is up and out. All right, we're dropping that bottom towards the floor. Different than the deadlift, okay? Then a sumo deadlift. Up, down. Three, two, and one. Rest. Nice work. Reverse crunch coming up, okay? Grab that ball again if you have it. We're gonna squeeze it out. Nice, tough squeeze. You can also use a foam roller, actually, for this. It's a little tougher on the knees, okay? <laughs> and we're moving here. It's a little tougher, just in, if you have a hard foam roller because squeezing it kind of hurts. <laughs> but if you have one of those soft ones, it works great. Either way. And if you have a sand, uh, a ball there, or a sand bell, or a dead ball, that's not too heavy. You could do these weighted. So you're still squeezing the ball, but you've got a weighted crunch in there, all right? Bring those shoulders up, hips off the ground. Good. You got it. Squeeze the whole time. Three, two, and one. All right. Nice work. Oops. <laughs> We're not playing basketball, Tatum. All right, grab that weight. Oops, sorry. We need to keep that ball. And we're going right into this, okay? Like I said, I'm gonna keep you moving. We'll have some rest after this round right here. If you want rest, pause. Here we go. Squatting it out again. Squeeze tight. Use those inner thighs. Good. I think a lot of times we focus on glutes. Always talking about the booty, the butt, right? And our hips. But we'll forget about our inner thighs. Okay, our adductors. Another important muscle for knee stability. All right, core, it's there. You're doing repetitive motions over and over again. Running, cycling, walking. You need that muscle to be strong. All right, and it might be tight, so we'll do some stretches for it later too. Don't let me forget. All right, grab that. Dumbbell for the sumos. Last round here, make it good. Try to go a little bit deeper this time. Here we go, just a little deeper. Sink a little deeper. Good. As long as you can do it with good form. As long as it's not really bugging those knees, okay? Good, drop that bottom. Now, you got it, chest up. Knees in line with the toes, check that alignment. You don't want to be toes forward on this one with those feet wider than shoulder width, okay? Oh God, put a lot of pressure on them. Good, 10 seconds. Whew. We got it. Three, two, and one. All right, let's work that core. Let's work that core. A little ab crunch here with the adductors engaged. Lower abs, there's a lot going on in this one. It's beautiful, here we go. 
Pull those shoulders up, hips up as well. Squeeze, oh, I wasn't squeezing. <laughs> I was just holding the ball. There's a difference, try it out. Stay focused. A lot of times we're letting our mind wander, which I like to do occasionally, but we need to zone in here. What are we supposed to be feeling, right? Squeeze. Good. Blow that air out. Exhale as you pull the shoulders up and the hips off the floor. Inhale as you return to the floor. Out, in, out, in, good. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Minutes rest here, okay? Let's put this away, I'll get you set up. Grab a sip of water. We're gonna progress now into yet another three circuit, three exercise circuit. Um, we'll go over those. All right, weight wise, we'll talk also. I just wanna say again, this is a Robert Browning quote, the best is yet to be. I really like that one. I don't know about you, going into uh, fall and winter right now in this video, um, there's a lot of unknowns still in our uh, everyday. So just know, just, just keep this positive thought, even with yourself and your family or friends, and, and just do the best you can. All right, so enough, I wanna talk, talk. Um, side lateral lunge with a gliding disc. If you don't have a glider disc, just, just go into a lateral lunge today. But what I love about this one, and we're gonna get started, and I think I want a little weight here. I'm gonna grab here and do a little goblet. Here we go. We're gonna slide that foot out, and we're gonna pull it in. And as we're pulling in, we're pulling in with our inner thigh. So I want you to push down against the floor and pull it in, give, the, give that floor some push, some pressure there, so you feel the inside of your leg working to resist that, okay? Good. You have to have some resistance, because I could just go here pretty easily and not feel it, but if I push in as I'm bringing it in, there's good pressure there. Ooh, good. Slide it out and then pull in. Good, three two, and one, good. Nice thing about that is we're working this quad that's stationary. We're getting the adductor on this other leg as we bring it back in, okay? Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get that other leg going. Here we go, here, pull in, push in. All right, I have to really tell this left leg to push. Does not wanna push. I'm a little weaker on my adductors on this side. I already know that. There we go. Push in, pull in, good. You got it. You do not have to use weight on this one. A lot of times, I just focus on that adductor. All right, so please feel free to put this weight down and really work there. Good. 12 seconds. Five, four, three, Two and one, lovely, all right. That's a good one, that's a good one. Paper plates is all you need, all right? All right, we got a squat. We're gonna do a forward lunge, forward lunge with a squat. Dumbbells or no dumbbells, up to you today, okay? I'll show you from the front and then I'll go to the side. So we're gonna go forward, push back forward, and then into a squat, all right? Right leg forward. Left leg forward, give it a good squat. All right, what's a leg day without squats, right? I really like lunges too. <laughs> lunges are probably my favorite more than anything. Being a runner and all, it's good practice. Good. We'll have a core exercise after this, okay? So hang on to that, three, two, and one. All right, set those weights down. We're gonna do a little crisscross, all right? Your hands down, you want that lower back pressed in. You could go here, holding those shoulders up, getting that upper abs engaged as well. If that's too much today, go ahead and bring it down, but make sure that you bring those legs to a height where you can keep 
that lower back flat, okay? We don't wanna be here laying down with a huge arch, okay? I find that by bringing my hands behind my head and just rounding out a little bit here, not only am I engaging all of my abs here, but I'm also getting a, my, that lower back flat. And you can experiment with what height you hold it. Just make sure you can press that spine into the floor. All right, five seconds here. Three, two, and one. Woo. Nice work. I got a little sweat going on. It's feeling good. We're gonna really bring it up after these next two rounds here. Now I paint them. It's already brought up. I already feel it. Okay. Here we go. Again, no need to use weight here if that's if you're just beginning or getting used to this movement. Sometimes this is hard. Sometimes this takes a little coordination or thought if you're not used to sliding on a disc, okay? Because it's different than stepping out in a lateral lunge, right? Usually my leg here, this left leg would be the one leading here. You got this right leg sliding out and back, right? And again, remember, chest up, sit down into this. Remember to push against the floor as you pull that slider in. Really drag it in there, make it sticky. Give it some resistance, make it work. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. All right, other side. A few seconds rest here. Whew, here we go. Three, two, and one. Same thing, other leg. Push in. Notice if you feel a difference on each side. This side is so weak. I cannot push and pull with great effort. All right? So what I would do if you're feeling that on one side for you as well, maybe you're not, <sighs> but if you are, you know when we finish today, if you have the strength to go back and work this side a little bit more, all right? Or visit this every once in a while and work that other side. Make sure that you get that strength back there. Get them engaged. There might be some muscle tightness going on. It's not allowing you to engage properly. Weaknesses, it's all good. Figure it out. Message me if you can't. We'll work on it, okay? All right. Here we go. Forward lunge, forward lunge, squat. All right, I'm gonna do this from the side. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Forward lunge, forward lunge. So funny. I have a couple sets of dumbbells here. I was trying to decide which one to use. I didn't even think about it. I just picked up these. Which is good that I didn't think about it because I was wondering whether I could today. Some days are just better. There we go. Squat. Forward. Forward to squat. Good. Remember, it's a squat. We're not pushing back. We're not collapsing. Our chest is not collapsing to our body here, okay? We want to have it up. There's an angle, sure. But it's not collapsed down. Three. Two, and one, rest, whew, nice work. This brings us to core, all right? A little crisscross here. I like to call it more of a scissor than this one, up and down. Here we go, shoulders up. Back pressed into the floor, all the way. Nice and, and flat, no huge arch that lower back, okay? And we're just pulling in and out here. A little crisscross. Good. Now remember, if you're still feeling quite a bit of lower back pressure, bring those feet up a little higher. All right, we can take that out. Still work, all right? Find your place. For everybody, it will be different. Three, two, and one. Rest, okay. Good work. All right, what's that bring us to? Whew, lateral lunge again. Last set today, okay, you've got this. You're doing great. All right, three, two, and one. Here we go. Out, pull and push. Pull and push at the same time. Takes a little thought. Good. 
push in. Make it sticky. If holding weight here creates too much of a distraction to really focus on this adductor, your inner thigh, and what you're doing with your glider, just put the weight down. Break this down, okay? You don't need, need the weight today necessarily. <sighs> Woo! 10 seconds. Oh. You ever feel that when you're start, about to let go of that waterfall sweat? When you go from sparkle to, to waterfall? <laughs> it's deep, right? Just starts to build. You feel the heat. Feels good. I'll live for that. <laughs> uh, very cold blooded. I like to be warm. Here we go, other side. I like to be toasty all the time. I would rather have the heat and the humidity than the achy cold. Sorry, winter is coming. I'm not ready for it. Try not to think about it. 30 seconds. Sorry. Focus. Push in, pull. Woo. Good. In. Press down. Side is so weak, Tatum. Good. 10 more seconds. Good. Five, three, two, and one. Great job. All right. We're done with that for now. Grab your dumbbells. Lunges with squats. If you have space there at your house or the gym, wherever you are, feel free to keep moving. I love to do this walking or traveling. So I would do a forward lunge and then a forward lunge and then my squat. Love doing that. I don't know, traveling always makes it feel better. <laughs> like I'm getting somewhere, right? It's why the treadmill is awful and being out on a road or trail is so much better. <laughs> Good. Squat, you got it. Now, if it really bugs your knees to do that forward lunge push off, go for a reverse lunge, all right? But don't hip hinge. I always talk about that on this one, all right? You would step back. Instead, you would step back and just come straight up and down, okay? Instead of pushing back a little bit at the hips. All right, that's a rest. Talk my way through that. Let's go back here, all right? Find the floor, support your head and neck. Again, you can stay flat by find the pulling up. Not only helps me engage his upper abs, but also keep that lower back a little bit flatter, right? Pushing in, pushing in. If it's starting to arch on you, because you're getting tired, bring it higher. All right, it's our last one of these today. We're up on our feet and we are gonna jump and move and sweat. Good. Three, two, and one. All right, nice work. Okay, we have about a minute's rest. Grab a sip of water. Let's set up for this next circuit. I think, I can't remember because I set up my timer the other day, um, yesterday. We are going to do about 30 seconds, I believe, of each of these. I thought about 20, but I wanted to push a little bit. If you have to rest, rest, get back to it. Do as many reps as you can. We're gonna do a sumo broad jump. Let me show you from the front. All right, nice and wide, really wide. Really hops instead of broad jumps, okay? Hop front and back, okay? We'll have that one. We're gonna step in and out. We're gonna do a squat together, out, wide, back in shoulder width, together, shoulder width, wide, shoulder width, okay? Stepping through. The stepper is for single leg jumps there, elevated jumps. If you don't have a stepper, just do jumps with us, okay? Maybe we'll come up with some different things. All right, here we go. Sumo broad jumps. I'll go forward first for you. I'll probably do it from here, nice and wide. I say broad jumps, they're really hot. Forward, but get really wide, okay? A lot wider than you're used to. And we're just gonna go forward and back. Good. And back. Maybe I did only do, we'll see how this goes today. Three, 
two, and one. 10 seconds rest, okay? In and out steps here, together, shoulder, wide, shoulder, together, okay? Here we go. Together, shoulder, wide, shoulder, together, shoulder, wide, shoulder. I know I'm repetitive. This is how I keep track of things. <laughs> Repeat in my head, shoulder, wide, shoulder, together, shoulder, wide, shoulder, together. You got it, I'll shut up now. <laughs> Not a nice word, Tatum. I'll be quiet now. Three, two, one, Whew. good. 10 seconds rest is all I put in. We should get a little rest in between. All right, we have our single leg elevated here, okay? Let's do left foot up. Here we go, we're gonna jump right here, pushing off this front leg. If you don't have a stepper, maybe you do a staggered stance. So you have one foot slightly back and you're kind of pushing off that front leg more, okay? Otherwise, we're here. Everybody gets this. This is a little hard because we wanna push off here and land. They're both coming off at the same time and landing. Just this foot is elevated, okay? It's doing the majority of the work for me, all right? But we gotta land soft. Three, two, and one. Other leg, oh yeah, you got it. Here we go. Up, down, just stagger your stance a little different there. At home, if you don't have a low stepper. Good, 20 seconds, keep it pumping. Woo, we got it, hit the burner. That's all right. If it gets to be too much and we can't land soft in those knees, just do a squat, okay? You can go a little wider and squat it out. Three, two, and one. Rest. Only 10 seconds. In, out, steps, okay? Three, two, and one. Here we go. Shoulder, wide, shoulder, together. Shoulder, wide, shoulder, together. Or maybe I'm doing more hip, shoulder. Now that I look at myself, Feels like I'm doing that, but it looks like it's more hip shoulder. Just make sure that you're getting wider with this, okay? <laughs> Everybody has a different shoulder width, hip width. Just move through, get a couple out and a couple in. All right, good work. All right, we have a little bit of rest here. 30 seconds it looks like. And then we're moving on, okay? We'll be back to those sumo broad jumps here. Whew. All right, grab a sip of water. Five seconds, sumo broad jumps. Here we go, three, two, nice and wide. I see broad jump, it's not. A broad jump would be really out. We're just doing hops. I keep saying that, it just helps me remember what I wanna do, but I'm gonna really just hop in and let's see if we can go faster, all right? Maybe we don't rest like I was doing, we don't stick it, we just keep going. Quick, quick turnover. If you wanna do it the way I was doing it before, go ahead, three, two, and one, all right. That up tempo was nice. All right, in out steps, okay? You got it. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Close. I'm gonna start with my left because I kept ending. It wasn't getting as much love as my right side. <laughs> right shoulder, out wide, shoulder, and shoulder, wide, shoulder. I'm gonna still say that. You get the picture, right? Good, together. We're feeling it. We got it. Moving along here. Feels like a dance. I can't dance, so I can't be that. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Rest. Two claps. Woo, nice work. You know what's next? Single jumps here, leg jumps. <sighs> Woo, elevated here. Up, down, land soft. Get as high as you can, get some air. Try at least. I don't have hops, but I like to pretend in my head that I do. <laughs> <sighs> 15 seconds. Good. Remember to land, don't land with a stiff leg here, okay? You don't wanna jam it up, you don't wanna land uh, stiff. We gotta land in that squat. If that's too much, go to a squat instead of a jump. Good. No rest. Here we go, let's do it, other leg. We're moving. Yeah, this is tough. 
Take five seconds if you need to. Get back to it, do as much as you can. Next time we'll start on the other leg when we're fresh. So I can get the most out of it. Good, 10 seconds to go here. Oh, we got it. We got it. Push that out. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Woo. Rest. Two claps. All right. In and outs again, okay? Start with my left leg. Here we go. Close, shoulder, wide, shoulder, close. Shoulder, wide, shoulder, close. Shoulder, wide, shoulder, close. You got it. I'll be quiet. You say it in your head. You know what to do. Oh boy. There it goes. The burn. Top of the leg burn. All right, that's time. 30 seconds rest. Take it. Ooh. Work it out. Give them a little bang. Woo. All right. 20 seconds, take a sip of water. We have one more round and you have done great again. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're enjoying this workout. I love to write workouts. It's probably my favorite pastime, weird. But it's my creative outlet. Really enjoy it. If you're enjoying these and you need something daily, we're here. Sumo, hops. Let's go quick. You could stick, stick, or move with me. More like a bunny hop real quick. Boom, 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 right? You got it. Nice and wide, nice and wide. If we're not jumping on this one, up and down on those toes you could do, or just squat it out wide again. Good. Three, two, and one. Rest, good work. Oh, I love leg day, I do. <laughs> In and outs, okay? In and outs. Let's start with my right side this time. Close, shoulder wide, shoulder in. Shoulder wide, shoulder in. Shoulder wide, shoulder in. You got it. Let's keep moving. Halfway. Good. Five seconds. Three, two. I'm gonna take it to the other side just to even it out because I am just like that. There we go, rest. All right. Good work. Just five seconds here. Oh boy. Let's start on the other side. If you always started with that left leg elevated, let's go to right side first. All right. Make that left side work after we're already a little tired. All right. Good. Try to lift. I know, mine's getting shorter. Still feel like I'm going through the ceiling. I know better. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Woo! Here we go, left side, let's do it. All right, this is one of, one of my favorites. I bring it out occasionally, it's a tough one. All right, I know, again, squat it out here if you want, okay? 10 seconds. Oh, we got it. Three, two, and one. Oh, good job. <laughs> All right, we're gonna step in and out again, repeat. I'll start left. Here we go, close. Shoulder wide, shoulder in. Shoulder wide, shoulder in. One more time, shoulder wide, shoulder in. Shoulder wide, on your own. You got it, focus. I know it's burning, all right? But as long as nothing's really truly hurting, bad knees, just keep moving. Three, two, and one, Whew, good work. Two claps, high five. We're done today. Let's just stretch it out. We need to stretch it out or you're gonna feel this, okay? Lots of water, a good meal, protein, complex carbs, veggie, veggie, veggies. <laughs> I push the vegetables because I know we all struggle with that. Whew. All right, we need to stretch out these quads. I'm gonna use the wall 
for this one. We'll do a couple stretches on them. If this is too difficult to get to, I want you to come down to your side, knees bent. We've done this before in my videos and just pull back here at the ankle laying down. All right. All right, let's go for it. Let's hold this for a few seconds. We'll get you stretched out. We'll stretch adductors and quads mostly and focus in. You did a great job. Thank you again for joining me. I hope you have as much fun with this as I do. And if you're not having fun at working out because you're getting used to it, it will come, all right? As you get more conditioned, those endorphins will come. I promise you. And it feels good. You'll notice sometimes my energy is a little low in the beginning of these workouts. And by the time I'm pumped, I'm ready. I feel good. My mindset has changed, all right? Hold that ankle. Keep those knees locked in close together. Don't arch, okay, or pull back. Just keep them right there. Kind of tuck your tailbone to pull through that quad. Nice work. All right, let's just step it wide here. Slide over to the side. Feel that stretch there in your adduct, in your inner thigh. I even noticed it with my cross country team. Um, even my girls, okay? They could be quiet, unenergetic, maybe even a little down. I don't know. And as soon as they get back from a practice, a soccer practice or, or running, oh, their mouth, they're full of energy. They're excitable, they're happy, you know? Um, good, let's slide to the other side and stretch, hold. Just figure out how deep you need to go to feel that inner thigh, kind of mess with, kind of play around, get a position. Um, so yeah, I, I always say, if I was actually watching it with a bunch of cross country teams at practice, because we were on a course with a lot of them, and same thing, those kids were, happy and you can see when they run the smiles just come on you know maybe not when they're racing but <laughs> and you're like it really feels good the world would be a better place with more runners now <laughs> just my theory i know people who hate it and that's okay find a bike find something find a way to go find hiking oh just to get outside somebody i know posted about uh hiking let's go down to half kneeling through the woods it's just such a good feeling just that fresh air you can be walking hiking something all right, you can get a, the endorphins from walking. Let's grab that back ankle. All right, we're gonna pull in. I want you to squeeze this outside glute here, engage, and pull here. You can push forward just a bit too, as long as we're not arching here, okay? If this is difficult, you can take a small stepper or a low couch, something, to put your foot up back here if you can't reach it, and you still get a good stretch. All right, hold, hold, hold. Good, let's now rotate to the inside here. Let's just do a little prayer pose here. Pushing those hands together, pushing the knee in towards that um, elbow, elbow to knee. Get a good press, should feel that adductor. Whew. I do, always. Good, if you want, if you need more, you can look up here. All right, look up towards the ceiling, hand down, palm down, get a little deeper stretch there. Make sure you're breathing and that you can breathe in this position. Otherwise, go back to the palms, with your palms together here. All right, nice work. We need to turn around, do the other side, All right? Squeeze, engage. All right, push forward just a bit. Get that stretch down the front here. Then go ahead, grab that ankle. All right, pull in. You got it, hold and breathe. Good, let's bring it in here. Elbow to knee, palms together, get a good twist. Push in hard, push the elbow to knee, knee to elbow. So you can feel the adductor stretching. Ooh, a little tighter on this side, notice those differences. Come back to it when we finish here, if you felt a side that really needed some extra love, okay? Hand down, arm up, if you're there today. Breathe. All right, my buzzer is telling me it's time, but if you have just a minute here, let's go ahead on all fours here. I want you to kick out this leg straight out, all right? And just get into that adductor again, that inner thigh. Just press back, let it go. Not too far, breathe. I know we don't get the foam rollers out before our workouts, but um, 
it's a really good one to do to foam roll these adductors in your legs and, and everything before we get started. Hamstrings, just work it out. Um, if you have one there, if you haven't invested in it, I've got a few videos up about foam rolling, just a couple. I'll try to do some more. It's amazing what it can do. I usually like to spend time uh, when I'm watching TV in the evening doing that. Let's go one more on the other side. I don't know where we are in time, but I don't want to keep it too long, but let's just get this stretched out while we're here and we're warm, okay? Especially because if you're like me, the day has begun, or it is, even if it's after work, you are trying to get dinner on the table, get your kids somewhere, or maybe you have meetings and other things you're doing. It's busy. And so sometimes we write this part off, don't we? Maybe not, and if you don't, kudos to you. I tend to sometimes skip it because I'm in a hurry. Gotta get that shower, gotta get going. I'm hungry, ooh, I'm hungry. I cannot wait <laughs> to eat. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, I'm being silly. I feel like you're right here with me. I feel like we're just together working on this. All right, so one more time, the best is yet to be, Robert Browning. Don't forget that, all right? Even if you're struggling to get through these daily, uh, just know that your hard work will pay off. Just um, try to fuel your body with some good, wholesome foods, okay? Make right choices and um, have fun in the journey. Just have fun, don't be hard on yourself. It's a journey, it's, it's not gonna be whoop, perfect. Trust me, 20 years of this, it's not perfect. All right, have a good day. Thank you again, don't forget to subscribe.